If you look at Punjab agriculture, basically it is the most intensively cultivated area. We say the cropping intensity is 190 percent, but NASA says it's 204 percent. And I agree with NASA because we don't carry out the gardeneries in the third season, and almost 70,000 hectares under potato and some other crops also exist, which are not accounted for. So definitely the cropping intensity is more than 200 percent in Punjab. Irrigated area is 98 percent. And most of this is through tubewells, the uh, maximum use of chemical fertilizers, almost 85, 80, more than 80 percent of the crop area is under rice and wheat, and productivity also I think one of the best in the world, 11.2 tons per hectare per unit of time and per unit of area. But if you look at climate variability, lot of lot has already been said. Basically, uh, uh, all the parameters of Weather, when we study them in long term, that is a climate, so they have the effect on agriculture. If you look at this, this is the variation in rainfall, like the periodicity of rainfall from 1901, 1901 to 2013. If you look at the first 50 years up to 1950, the events having more than 80% to 100%, rather more than 60%. They were there and every 15 years we, would, we used to have a good rainfall which was 80 to 100 percent higher than that. But in the last 50 years except those floods in 1988, uh, the rainfall is going down and since 2002 it's almost blown up. This is the graphical presentation of the same. So if you look at almost except in the last 12 years, except this 2008 when it was higher by 20 percent, it is, it is low now. Next is the onset and withdrawal. The onset, we have the onset of monsoon is 29th June and withdrawal is almost 15 September. So if we look, I, I, actually I have not added this slide on onset because variation is less, but on withdrawal if you look at for the last, all, almost all the 13 years, the withdrawal has been more than 4 to 8 days, even in, 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 in some cases it 15 days. So it affects our crops, it affects all the Greek crops, cotton, it gets more vegetable growth in, instead of productivity, paddy, it doesn't mature well, it gets higher moisture content, then there are marketing problems for the farmers. So this, uh, bit, bit, uh, the change in withdrawal rate of monsoon is also affecting the agriculture in the state. Recently, my friend Chandrabhushan said that the temperature is going to rise by 0.7 degrees centigrade. So, if I, I have carried out an analysis of maximum mean, maximum temperature up to today, up to 2013, the increase is about 1.7 percent. And if the this trend continues, it will be of the order of 4, uh, 0.4 degree to 0.5 degree by 2050. And minimum temperature has increased already increased by 0.27 degrees centigrade. And if this trend continues, it will also cross half a degree by 2050. This also affects our crops because if the minimum temperature increases now, the, the tilling of the crops is affected, and if the sowing of the crops is delayed, and if the temperature increases in the month of April, then the harvesting of the crops it is quick and then there is a shriveling of grains and there is a decrease in quality and decrease in productivity. Groundwater actually is, is going to be uh, scarce because there is already, uh, no matter from other sectors, 